What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. Today's video discussion is going to be on my personal exposure systems and what I wear day in, day out, every day that I go diving. Now I have quite a few here. Once again, a disclaimer here, I do own a dive shop so a lot of my stuff is going to be biased to the uh, gear manufacturer that I sell of course. But I do believe in the product and that's why I use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at from my warm water equipment or warm water exposure protection all the way up to my cold water exposure protection and I'm going to briefly go over each item that I use and talk really quick about why I use it. Now starting off of course in warm water, I do wear just a shorty. Um, this is for extremely warm water. Maybe it's the middle of the summertime. I'm not going very deep in the lake, maybe less than 15 feet or maybe I'm down in the Keys or somewhere like that where I, I just want that little bit of extra protection maybe from the sun or maybe if I brush up against something or whatnot. That's what I got the shorty for. And to be honest, I really don't use this a lot as a shorty by itself. I'll use it as a layering shorty such as if I want an extra core warmer or something like that. That's what I'm going to use this for. But this is my shorty of choice. It's just a 3 mil Mares shorty. Going up from there, of course, I do have two identical wetsuits that are three mil thick. And there, let me talk a little bit about why I have two that are identical. Okay, they're just full jumpsuit, three mil wetsuits by Mares. Uh, there's nothing fancy about them. Um, the reason I have two, and they, they are identical, I know the colors look a little bit different on them. The reason they do is this is my diving wetsuit, meaning this is what I take when I'm going vacation. It's warm water. It's what I wear here in the lake if I'm not going too deep or something like that. This one has been faded out by chlorine. So this suit here, this is the one that I wear in the pool anytime that I have students and I go to the pool quite a few times throughout the week. So this suit's really not that old. It's just faded out and I go through a three mil wetsuit very quickly. I'm going to say within four or five months, I'm buying a new suit simply because this is my pool suit. Once this is done and over with, this will become my pool suit. And of course, I'll just take another three mil off the wall and then use it for my all around diving suit. But the three mil works really good if I'm in a pool environment. If I'm in water, say down to about 65 degrees, it works really good. If it gets a little chilly at 65, of course, I can throw the shorty on top of the three mil jumpsuit and that gives me the added core warmth that I need to stay warm. Now, one step above this, I will sometimes add a hooded vest. Now this is a three mil hooded vest. I actually like the hooded vest better than just a standard hood for several reasons. One, I have that additional uh, core warmth there. So if I got a three mil here with a three mil hooded vest underneath it, that gives me six millimeters on my chest, which keeps me a, a lot warmer. Plus I have the addition of a hood in the event that I need it. Now the, another reason that I like the hooded vest over just a standard hood, let's say there's a situation where I'm a little bit chilly, but I, I warm up really quick. I can pull the hood off. It can kind of dangle here. It's not in the way of anything and it's there if I need it. I don't have to worry about putting it on land or stubbing it in a pocket or even losing it. If I do need it real quick, I can just pull it up. It's kind of like wearing a hooded sweatshirt. But my three mil hooded vest, I really like it and I wear it quite a bit. I'm gonna say anywhere from 65 to about 70 degree water, I would either throw this on or throw the shorty on top of that three mil and it works just fine for me. Now, in those suits alone, there's several different accessory items that I wear. Uh, of course, for boots, I always wear a hard bottom boot because of where I dive. And as you can tell, these have been in the pool quite a bit because they're faded out. But these are five millimeter thick boots. These are the uh, Mares Trilastic boots. Uh, I do like the hard bottoms, especially diving here in the lake. If I'm doing a lot of walking around the shoreline or something with students, they work really well for that. And I like the five millimeter boots. They, they give me plenty of warmth. I don't have to worry about wearing a three millimeter boot with three millimeter socks. So the five millimeter boots work just fine for me. Of course, they are zipper and the high top. And so those are my boots of choice. And I've, I've actually, these are probably about three to four months old. And you can see that the elasticity is starting to break down. That's how much I dive. They're faded out from the chlorine. Even washing it, chlorine's very bad on scuba gear. So make sure you do proper washing on it. But if you dive as much as we do, you're going to go through neoprene very quickly. So those are my boots of choice there. As far as gloves go, 
I have just a standard pair of reef gloves. These are like a half mil thick. They're, they're not very thick at all. There's no warmth thermal capacity to them. It's simply just for protection from the environment. I wear these anytime I'm in an open water ocean environment. It protects my hands from things. Uh, if I'm spearfishing here in the lake or in the ocean, of course, I'll wear these as well if it's a, if it's a warm spearfishing dive or whatnot. Or if I'm just treasure hunting, a lot of times these are the ones I wear just to protect my hands. Maybe if I'm picking up some old bottles or something, I don't want to tear up my hands. Now the next two set of gloves are gonna go also with the other suit that I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna show you two different sets and these are by a company called Seasoft. This is their three millimeter stealth gloves and I really like these gloves because even though they're three millimeters thick, when I put them on, I still have dexterity with these and they give me just enough warmth, say down to temperatures around the, the 50 to 55 range. They're, are, they, these are gonna give me the right amount of warmth that I need and so I really like them, especially with the next suit that I'm gonna show you, but I really like these gloves. Plenty of dexterity, plenty of warmth and flexibility in them, so I really like them. The next setup from there are the exact same gloves as far as uh, thickness, but they also have Kevlar built in. And these are the Seasoft uh, TI Pros here. I really like these as well. Once again, they're just three millimeters thick, but they have that Kevlar. I use these a lot if I'm doing a lot of salvage work even in the summertime, even when it's warm and I don't need gloves. These are really gonna protect my hands against metal or any other sharp objects under the water. So I really like these since they are Kevlar aligned. And of course, the gloves prior and these gloves here, they go right along with the next suit that I'm gonna show you, which is a Seasoft dry suit. Now I actually have two different neoprene dry suits. One is by Seasoft and the other one is by Oceaner. Um, unfortunately, my Oceaner suit or my Comfort Zone Scuba uh, dry suit is out right now. I've let a guy rent it out to, to try it out, see if he likes it, but they are virtually the same suits. And this is just a uh, three millimeter dry suit that's neoprene. It's actually seven millimeters that's been compressed to three millimeters. And I don't wear this suit a lot because I have another dry suit that I'm gonna show you that I wear pretty much three to four times a week throughout the entire year. Um, but I do like this suit. I, I really do like neoprene dry suits. They're comfortable. They're definitely a lot warmer than any other dry suit out there. You don't have to wear a lot of uh, undergarments for thermal uh, capacity, if you will. Uh, I have recently switched out the zipper. Uh, this used to have a rubber zip. Now it's got the YKK uh, plastic zip on it, which I really like. It does have the soft neoprene seals that you fold under. It's very comfortable to wear. The suit is very, very warm. Now it is very, very buoyant. Uh, but other than that, I do like this dry suit. It's one of my favorites. I've had it for quite a while. And actually a good friend of mine who's a, a dive instructor as well, uh, we have bought and sold this suit from each other so many times over the years that I, I couldn't tell you how many times I've owned it and how many times he's owned it because uh, he doesn't live in the area anymore and anytime he comes in he'll actually buy this suit and take it with him and a year or two later he'll come back and I really like the suit because it fits us both. I'll actually buy it back from him. So I've owned that suit probably three or four times but I really do like it. Now the next suit that I'm going to show you is my go-to primary dry suit. I wear this guy probably three, four times a week throughout the entire year. This is my salvaging dry suit. This is my public safety dry suit. This is my cold water ice diving dry suit. Of course, I do use the other one as a backup in the event that I have to repair this one for whatever reason. But this is my all-around go-to dry suit. And this is the TELUS model by OS Systems. It's a tri-laminate dry suit, and it's got the telescoping waist. Now, I've added a lot of cool features to this. I took the neck ring off, or the neck seal, and added uh, the quick change seal out for the neck. I'm gonna fix to have to do that to my wrist seals as well, but I do have the uh, glove lock system on here from SciTech so that I can add dry gloves to it. I did add that as well. This has a number eight brass YKK zipper on it as well. Of course, some other features I added on the right sleeve, the Marisek pocket. Uh, it's got the Velcro, so if I want to put my dive team patch on there, I can Velcro it on for operation purposes, stuff like that. Of course, I do have the um, pockets on the legs, the cargo pockets on each. And then, of course, all my dry suits, including the Seasoft and the Comfort Zone suit, 
I also have the attached boots pretty much because I'm lazy. I don't want to have to put my suit on and then have to put a pair of boots on as well. I just want to throw my dry suit on and go. Now that really helps me out in a public safety situation. If I'm doing a rescue operation versus a recovery and I don't have a lot of time, it's quick deploy. I can throw it on. Everything's there with me. I don't have to take the time to put on extra boots. So as far as comfort, quick and ease and practicality, I really like having the boots attached. But that is my tri-laminate dry suit that I use, like I said, three, four days a week throughout the entire year. With that being said, I have two different hoods that I wear with both dry suits, depending on um, what situation I'm in. I have just a standard dry suit hood from OS Systems. Now this one is custom. It came with the suit when I bought it. This is by a company called Comfort Zone, which happens to be the third dry suit that I have. Um, but this is my full face mask dry suit hood uh, because it's got the outer seal skin technology to where the full face mask will actually seal to that. So I do have that one for that purpose. Uh, this one is a three mil. This one I believe is a seven mil. So my custom hood from OS Systems is a seven mil. Of course, the other one is just a three mil uh, standard full face mask hood. So those are my hoods of choice. And of course, I showed you one with the vest that I wear or the hooded vest. Um, as far as cold water diving accessories for my hands, I have two sets of gloves that I wear depending on what dry suit I'm in. If I'm in one of my neoprene dry suits, I wear the three fingered mitts for extremely cold water. And these are the uh, G1 seven millimeters by Waterproof. I really like these gloves. Um, they're easy to get in and out of. Plus they have the same seal skin technology to seal. So even with these, my hands hardly ever get wet if they barely get damped at all. But I really like these gloves here. Uh, it's got a couple cool features once you got it on. Of course, you can zip it up to make it even tighter seal, if you will. Um, they got a little labeling device, so if you do a lot of cold water diving, you and your buddies won't get your uh, gloves mixed up there. But I really like these. They're very, very warm. In cold water, you're not going to have much dexterity any, anyway, so I really like the three-fingered mitts. I've been using them for several years, so I really, really, really like those. And then, of course, in my tri-laminate suit that has the uh, glove lock ring on it, I just have some standard dry gloves here with the wool inserts. So these are my dry gloves that I use with those. Uh, once again, I'm not gonna have much dexterity at all with this, but it does keep my hands dry, especially in a public safety situation. And if I'm dealing with a hazmatic situation, these are my go-to gloves that I use. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions on any of the exposure systems that I showed you that I personally use, uh, or any comments on them, please put it down in the comment section below. Guys, as always, make sure to check back each week for a new video. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.